Welcome back everyone. And if you're new here, my name is Michael Evans. And today we're gonna go over my everyday carry items. These are things that I carry with me all the time, especially when I'm traveling or just going out and about in the city. And the first piece of tech that we're gonna go over is my X106. This is my favorite camera to carry with me when I'm traveling. I don't wanna carry all of my big bulky cameras and, and stuff that I do product photography with. Uh, and this has been a great addition to getting me out and shooting more. I know this camera has been really controversial throughout this year and it's been very difficult to get. Um, I've had mine since uh, about March, so I've been using it and putting it through its paces and there's still some things that I like to go over, but it's been a great camera so far and I've definitely loved carrying it with me. And if you stick around to the end, I'll go over all the little things on the camera that I've added that make it a little bit better to carry with me every day. The next thing that I carry with me is probably the most important piece of tech. It's my cell phone. I mean, you gotta have that, right? You can't navigate or make phone calls or texting. It's basically a computer in your hand. So this is the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I know the 16 is coming out in a couple of days or it should be out probably by the time this video comes out. So stay tuned for a video on that. And just in case you get in a jam, you gotta have your backup battery. So I carry this one from, from Basis. This is a 10,000 milliamp battery. This has a little kickstand on it as well. And it just comes in handy all the time, every time that I'm out. Just wanna make sure that my phone is charged up. And it's been a great addition to my everyday carry. Next up, you gotta have your music, right? So I use the AirPods 3. They're a great addition to my everyday carry because I just love listening to music. It's just a part of my everyday life. And I know the fours are coming out soon. I ordered them and probably by the time this video comes out, they will already be out. And I ordered the ones with the noise cancellation. So I'll be sure to go over those at a later date. I don't really like the pros because the in-ear tips always really bother me. Next up is this cool little pin from Studio Neat. This pin's really cool. It has a great weight to it and it uses magnets. It uses magnets to stay together. And it's just so satisfying to pull apart and put back together. It's like almost like a little fidget thing, but it's a great pen and I really love having it in my kit just in case I need to write anything down. These are my shades from Distill Union. These offer UVA and UVB protection and they also are polarized, but what I really like about them is that they have a magnetic frame, which come in really handy when you wanna clip them onto your shirt and they won't go anywhere. I always try to carry a knife on me when I can and this one is from the James brand. This one has a Damascus blade and just really useful to carry a knife on you for different reasons, but this is the one that I use and I've been really enjoying it. And you gotta keep your lips from getting chapped too, so I use Vaseline Lip Therapy. This is has nothing too much to talk about, but it's just what I use and what I like. My wallet of choice is from Distilled Union. This is a wallet that I've been using for the last three years. It has all the features that I need and I've tried out other wallets, but this is a wallet that I just keep coming back to because I just really enjoy using it. It has a pull tab for all my, my cards right here. There you go. And it's just uh, carries a money clip and, and has internal pockets for the cards that you might want to pull out, uh, like your ID and stuff like that. So it's been a great wallet and I really enjoy using this one. Something that I don't carry with me every day, but I definitely will when I'm traveling. And that is my Nomad Passport Holder. This not only holds my passport, but also a field notebook. It holds four credit cards and has a spot for your tickets that closes with magnets to make sure that it's secure. But the coolest feature is that it has a pin holder so you can put your pin right in here. You never have to worry about losing it and you don't have to worry about it coming out. So. This is something that I definitely carry with me when I'm traveling, and it's just a great addition to my EDC. Last but not least, we can go over my bag. This bag is from Bellroy and Caseology. They made a collab to make a bag, and they call them the Chimera every time they work together. So this bag is a limited edition. You can't really get it anymore, but it's just something that I saw and I really wanted it, and it just has all the pockets and everything that I can need in a bag. So now that we've gone over everything that I covered in my bag, we can go over the accessories that I use for my camera. 
first off, the thumb rest. This is from Small Rig, and it has a cutout right here to get access to the shutter speed and the ISO, which has been great. I've tried other ones, but this one just has a great grip to it, and I really like the feel of this one. I'm using the shutter button from Small Rig as well. This just highlights some of that, those red accents that are on top of the camera. I think it looks great. And the bottom is from Small Rig also. Uh, this all came in a bundle with the shutter button, the thumb rest, and the bottom rail. But this bottom rail has an Arca Swiss plate built onto it, which has been really great uh, when I need to put it on a tripod. It has the tool right here that is magnetized to the bottom and if I need to get it off, but this just lives on here. I never take it off. Gives a great access to the battery and the, sh and the uh, memory card in there. And uh, next we can go over the strap that I'm using. This is from Short Stash and Mighty Killers Collab. This has been really great. It doesn't take up any space at all, which is fantastic. I've used other rope ones and they, they don't just don't, you know, compress as well as this does and it just fits in the bag takes up no space it's fantastic uh, the front filter that I'm using is from short stash as well he did a collab with polar pro if you didn't know this is a circular pol polarizer and a mist filter built into one which has been really great if I just need to cut through the uh, glare or anything like that and it adds a nice halation to my highlights as well and lastly, uh, there is an adapter that I got on the front of the camera so I, it will accept the filter that fits my uh, lens cap, the stock lens cap that goes on the camera. And this is just really important to me because I want to be able to, to protect this glass from getting scratched or anything like that. And to be able to put that on here, I can throw it in my bag. I don't have to worry about it getting scratched or messed up or anything like that. And this has just been a really great uh, additions everything have been great additions to my camera so this is how I use it every day whenever I go shoot and uh, if you have any questions just let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to get you all the answers I will leave everything uh, that I'm using in the in the description so you can always access it there oh and lastly I'm also using a screen protector on here uh, this is just one I found on uh, Amazon I believe and it just protects the back of the, the LCD screen. So that's basically it. There's really not much to it. I just found one that looked good and, and I put it on there. Let's get this bag packed. We can go over the bag a little bit more as we pack it, but there's a pocket in the front, a big pocket in the middle, and a pocket in the back. This is normally where I keep my keys and my wallet as it, this part of the bag stays along my body and it just makes it a little bit more difficult for people to reach in and grab those items. If you made it this far in the video, I just want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate you. And liking and subscribing is one thing, but liking the video enough to watch it to the end just means the world to me. So thank you very much. Uh, next up, we're going to put my camera in. I already put my shades in. There is a felt lined pocket right here that fits my shades, so I don't have to worry about them getting scratched. I have my passport holder right here. There's a pretty much a pocket that fits it perfectly right there. Uh, next up, we can put in my uh, battery backup. There's a pocket along the side that fits it just exactly. I'm going to put my knife in here as well. And there's a pocket for a pin. So fits that perfectly. The only thing about this bag that's not really great is that to get to this other pocket on this side, you have to move the zippers over, but there is room for it. Actually, I put my uh, extra battery in there first because you gotta have the tune, so I have quicker access to those. And in the front, I'm going to put my uh, chapstick and everything right there. There's still another pocket here. Um, there's still more room in here as well but this is everything that I carry with me and it's a perfect carry for me. This is a perfect bag. It's a six liter bag and it just fits everything perfectly. And I keep my phone in my pocket when I need it. So if you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate you. Like and subscribe, all those things if you want to, you know the drill. So thank you very much and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.